I think that was that little... Okay, here's the deer right here. Oh, nice, man. Stealth attack right in the noggin. Okay. We'll take it. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is nighttime still, uh, as you can see. Uh, but I just leveled, so I wanted to start the next episode and show you what we're going to do with those points and talents. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to put the, the second level in stamina and get those two maxed out for our talents. And let's go to the tech tree. So the first thing we want to do is grab this thatch beam because then that opens up the ability to start building uh, floor stuff. Or, or I'm sorry, not floor stuff, but structures because we got to do the base to finish out this quest. Um, so let's, uh, before we... Before, before we, you start building, you need to hydrate. There's a lake down there. Go take a drink. Even a basic Enviro suit will filter out anything dangerous. Okay. I don't know exactly why he's telling me that right now, but let's just Here go... In the Terra Zone, the water's pretty clean. Fish don't seem to mind it. Okay. The Terra Zone, he's he called it. Um, all right, let's light our torch back up. Okay, so yeah, that was kind of weird. You know what? Let's just just drink. Hopefully, we don't get a parasite. There we go. Okay. And uh, we got some food here. Let's eat a pumpkin. I did find some watermelon earlier too. Okay, so that gets us in good shape uh, with all of our nutrients and our oxygen and all that kind of thing. Uh, so. It's, you know, the game's kind of playing some scary uh, ambient background music, so I'm just a little on edge right now. <laughs> a little on edge right now. Okay, so anyway, let's look at this. Uh, what we want to do is I want to actually go back and grab the basic bandage because we need them A and B. We can make them with a bunch of our extra fiber in order to get some XP. And then we're going to learn the thatch floor, and I guess that uses up all of our points. But hopefully between the beam and the floor... That will allow us to, to do the shelter. I don't know how much of a shelter it wants me to actually build. Uh, but anyway, that gets us going in the right direction. So what I'm going to do is go back to my inventory. And we're going to make a whole mess of bandages. Again, both for XP and because we need them. Uh, so we'll make 41 of those. And I'm going to put those in the, the zero slot. And get that that you know, going. So we're starting to get a little XP, you know, from making those bandages. And then, yeah, I guess, um, why don't we, what do we need to do to make the shelter stuff? So resource storage, what was that? I don't know what those noises are that it keeps playing. Something just went da da ding. Anyway, um, okay. So let's go to deployable structures. Let's go to structures. So to make this, we need fiber and sticks. Um, so let's make, I guess, four of these, and then we will, did it cue them? What's going on here? Oh, can I, like, only make one? Oh, maybe that's what it is. Okay, so it's still making the bandages. All right. Um, <clears throat> so we'll make four of those and then we'll make the thatch platform and, you know, see if that counts as a shelter. If it doesn't, then of course we'll learn the walls. We're going to need to learn all that stuff anyways, and then, you know, go from there. So I'm going to cut the camera here, guys, and just kind of keep working at night. I've cleared all a lot of the brush out in the immediate area. I'm going to cut a few more trees down and, uh, you know, just keep working. And then I'll bring you guys back either in the morning or when we hit the next level. Okay. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. It's morning. Uh, we just had a, a storm pass through. And let's see, we are about two-thirds, three-quarters or so of the way to the next level. Uh, I cleared a whole bunch of forest and wood out just behind this area that you can see that's, you know, clear here. And got a bunch of wood piles going there. Um, this needs to be restarted uh, because it went out when the storm hit. And we're in pretty good shape overall. What we need to do is go hunting, though, because I need fur to make the bedroll, and uh, hopefully we can find some wolves or something substantial that's going to get us some decent XP. So let's uh, kind of move away 
from the lake and start heading up this way. And um, <clears throat> I don't mind, you know, running into uh, a few wolves. I just hope I don't run into like a big pack of them all at the same time. But, you know, we're we're pretty healthy. And I think we're in good a, a good position to start hunting, hunting those guys. Uh, so let's head up the valley this way. Of course, the deer would be nice too, uh, but we don't have enough oomph to take one down in one or two shots, it looks like. But if we can, you know, get another one and start tracking it, that would, of course, will make a big difference too. And then we'll grab all these pumpkins and berries and stuff along the way as we go along here. Okay, that's... I think that's just more... Uh, silicon, which we don't really need right at the moment, I don't think. Okay, so let's go up into the woods this way. And we're just looking for prey. I did find a watermelon last night, too. So I just ate that straight up. Here's your food and water, which is pretty good. Not sure how far we're going to have to go to find some prey the sun's finally starting to come out that's good um i think <clears throat> i think there's a cave around here too maybe over around this corner perhaps that's more wheat We're going to need to get into the caves, you know, to get iron and stuff. Wasn't really planning on doing that for this prospect, but I don't know if getting in there will get us XP faster so we can get out of here. That might not be a bad idea. I'm not sure where the cave is, though, so we'll just kind of keep running around. Okay, there's a deer. There's a couple of deer, in fact. So let's see if we can shoot this thing and then track it. <clears throat> until we can actually harvest it. There's two deer. And again, I'm not sure, you know, with my current skills in stealth, which is nothing, whatever you start the game with, that is, how close I can actually get to these guys before they detect you. So let's just keep looking this way. All right, I'm not sure where the deer actually is. I think there, there's one way off that direction. Did we already spook the... F oh! Okay, well, there's that deer. He kind of had walked around us, I guess. I think there's another one. That other one's off that way, though. Okay, what was that? that I think that was that little... Okay, here's the deer right here. Oh, nice, man. Stealth attack right in the noggin. Okay. We'll take it. Let's get this out. Okay, how much XP do we get for skinning a deer? <clears throat> 300. Okay, that's not as good as a wolf, but it's still not bad. And it gives us some more fur. I still think we need uh, two more fur to make the bedroll, though. Uh, no, not there. Crafting. Bedroll... Here. Yeah, we need two more two more fur. Okay, so another deer would do it. Maybe that chamois would do it. He's like a little mountain goat dude. Let's track him for a little bit. Unless we can uh, get another deer or preferably a wolf. And when I say wolf game, I mean a wolf, not wolves. At least not all at the same time, anyway. 
So I just wanted to clarify that. Okay, I don't have a clear shot at this dude. Yeah. Oops. <clears throat> okay, what's it doing? There we go. Look at that, stealth attack. Okay. I'm assuming we get extra XP for stealth attacks. There goes another deer. Let's get our arrow back. Love that we can recover our arrows. That's awesome. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that deer's just right there. Oh, man, we didn't get any fur from this dude. Okay. Press to harvest. Oh, are we out of space? We are. Okay, let's just drop um, some fiber here. We got so much of it. And, well, some sticks, too, for that matter. <coughs> okay. And we'll get the bones, too. All right. Now, where'd that other deer go? There's... Oh, I think that's a wolf there, actually. Is it? This little sneaky sneak stuff is kind of fun, man. Okay. Look at that stealth attack. Nice. Okay. There's the rest of the fur we need. Okay, do we have room for all of this? We do. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we should be able to craft this. Let's do that. Um, and let's start moving back towards our base area. And then um, we are almost to the next level. Just about there. Once we get to the next level, you know, then we'll learn, like, some walls and stuff like that that we'll need. See, that noise that just happened, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Not really sure. Um, we came, yeah, we came down along this cliff here. So we were thinking about maybe finding a cave or something. I'm sure there's one here somewhere, I'm just not sure where it is. But I'm not really worried about that right now, because I'm not expecting or planning on... Doing anything with a cave on this prospect. I really would just like to kind of get it done so we can move on to bigger and better things. Yeah, there's another one of, one of the goat things. Those guys don't even give us fur though, or at least, well, maybe they do, but that particular one didn't. I don't know. Not sure about that. Okay, let me check my map. Oh yeah, we're heading right towards the pod. We are on the right track, ladies and gentlemen. Right on the right track. There's the pod right there. Okay, so we'll go back to our little campsite. And, um... Build the platform and the four pole things that we need. And that might give us enough XP to get to the next level anyway. Okay, wolves in the area. Hopefully wolf in the area and not wolves. I hear him howling. Okay, let's go into stealth mode. One more wolf kill will definitely get us to the next level. The howling was coming from over here. Stop, look, and listen. There goes a rabbit.
Oh, there's the wolf right there. Is he, like, attacking something? You see him just jump up like that? That was kind of cool. Wow! Got him right in the mouth. Okay. And we're level 5. Hot damn. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't think I grabbed the bones off of that last wolf. Darn it. Uh, item is broken. Okay, let's uh, repair it. And then we'll get the bones off of this one. All right, cool. So let's get back to our camp spot. And we have four blueprint points and two talent points this time. Oh, two talent points. Nice. I guess uh, as we level up, we get more of those maybe. Um, let's put some food on the fire here. So we'll put those pumpkins. We'll eat this fish. Eat the rest of those steaks. Um, oh, maybe we can't. And we'll put this steak in there. Let's put this wood, extra wood on there too to get that stoked. Okay, and uh, we could stand to drink as well, so... Before you start building, you need to hydrate. Yeah, dude, you've told me that a like there. a million bazillion no, times now. Get out of here, you little freaking piece of shit fish. He poisoned us. Damn it, Jim. I'm just looking to see if any more of those little piranha bastards are going to come. Okay, we're up at full water. Uh, we have the little poison debuff, but it's not going to be a big deal. Okay, so let's go into here. Let's go into our talents first. We're working on the solo talents. Um, we can do two of these now. So we could do health regen or stamina regen, or we could do run faster. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> Reduce damage from animals. Ooh, that would be a good one to do, wouldn't it? What's this? Gives three blue... Ooh, blueprint points. Nice. I like that idea, too. Um, I think... Um, let's, let's go with stamina. I mean, stamina recovery is a pain in the ass in this game. Harder to detect when sneaking. Oh, that would be a nice one, too. Uh, okay, so we got tech of that. Now we need to go to tech tree. Oh, no, we have two talents. That's right. We do. So we're going to put them both into there. There. Now we got stamina region. That's, that's basically like our sexual Tyrannosaurus in Seven Days to Die. Nice. Let's go to the tech tree. We got four points to spin. So I think we want to focus on buildings. Well, actually, before we do this, okay, before we put any more points into this kind of thing, let's build our beams and our floor first and just see... Uh, how far along that gets us in terms of our our questing here. Uh, we don't need those. Let's destroy those. How come I... I thought I put those fish in the fire, but apparently I didn't. So we'll put those there. Okay. Nope. Wrong button. Okay, so we want to make four of the these... Or three more of these guys. So let's do that, because we already have the one... Okay, and then we're going to put these down next to the fire. I'm not sure which direction they should go, so I guess we'll just kind of face south and put it there. And then I guess the next one kind of snaps in place with a foundation with to that one, which is kind of cool. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. And then the fourth one, that's really neat. Okay. Now, if we make uh, the thatch floor, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> okay, and then we'll put that on top of here. How do I get it to move? Oh, there, like that. Okay, so we got the floor. Now we need to do some walls. Okay, so let's go back to the tech tree, and we want a thatch wall which we can make doors and windows. And I don't know if the quest will want us to do a door. Thatch, floor, trap door, railing. I guess a roof ramp would be the next thing we would do. 
or do we just use a floor for the ceiling? All right, let's, yeah, let's wait. I don't want to spend points until I know they're the right points to spend, basically. Okay, so let's make, let's go back into crafting, and we need to make four of these. Uh, okay, craft four of those. And we'll put that down there. Okay, so since the fire is on this side, we'll put the door here. Uh, so let's go eight. Now, if we... Is it right-click? There's supposed to be a way we can choose different shapes. Oh, variants. Hold down R. Right, okay. So we want the door frame. Okay. And then hold down R and... We'll put a wall there, and a wall there, and let's do a window here so we can look out at the lake. Look at that little thatch hut. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, and then I think we could probably just make another floor and then put that on top as our ceiling, and that should hopefully meet the requirement for shelter. Okay, and then... Grab our bedroll. And we'll stick it down here in the corner. There we go. Okay, so we've built a shelter and we crafted a bedroll to survive in the harsh acres environment. But we're not getting credit for it. What the hell, man? Uh, this bed requires more... Oh! Requires more shelter. Uh, oh! We got it. We got it. Okay. Chances are the same as anyone else, and I get paid. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. I think we're done with Beachhead Recon finally. Um, so I guess we go home, right? Let's get something to eat before we go home. So we'll eat that, eat that, eat that. I need some berries, too. Nice. Okay, so we got four different types. Let's just top off our water because we can. Um, watch for out for piranhas. There's one right there. I don't think he sees us, though. Okay, that tops off our water. Our O2's good. Whoa! O2's good. Food's good. Let's go. We are done with our first prospect, ladies and gentlemen. That is amazing. I think we did pretty good overall. Um, there may have been a faster way I could have done all of this, but I'm, you know, like I said, I'm pretty new to the game. When I did this on multiplayer, I had four other guys or three other guys with me, and they are they did all the stuff super quick. Um, they had it done before I even stepped out of the pot, it seems. So <laughs> I never really got to experience it, you know, the right way. Um, okay, press E to interact. Oh, press E to interact. Okay. Uh, are you ready to leave the surface? Return to station. Open dropship inventory. Oh, we can put stuff in here. Okay. Um, can I bring the bones with me so I can make bone tools next time, maybe? I don't know if this is worth it, but let's just do it anyways because we can, right? Uh, where does it actually tell me, though, that I'm finished with the prospect? Place exotics here for... Oh, can we not take this with us? Then it says place exotics there. I don't know. I mean, it's letting me return to the station. Maybe it won't let me return to the station unless I haven't finished all the objectives. Uh, I just want to kind of know how that works, though. We're going to save this these last three points for... for well, actually, no, we're not going to save them. Let's go... Um, I want... Bone... I want bone arrows for sure. And then I want fire pit, wood torch, floor torch. Probably a bone knife and a bone sickle. I'm thinking. A uh, small wood crate would be nice. Oxidizer would be nice. And so would the clothing things too. Ah, uh, yeah. Should we do the spear or not? I don't know. 
building upgrade tool. We're going to need that. I'm just trying to figure out what the most important thing is to take next. I think we're going to want to be able to store stuff in our next prospect. So we're going to grab the small storage. And... <clears throat> Uh, probably, I mean, we're going to want the armor too, but probably we're going to want the uh, upgrade tool. I mean, we're going to need it eventually, right? So, or the bone knife. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, let's just, let's do the bone knife. What the hell? Okay, so we got that figured out. <coughs> Okay, so it does say mission complete on the left now. I don't know when that flipped over, but it hadn't didn't seem like it flipped over immediately. But now we know for sure that it's done, so let's go ahead and take off. Here we go. Uh, return order will settle your claim on this drop and delete all items you are currently carrying. Rewards will be calculated once everyone leaves. You cannot return. Okay. It's time to go back, dudes and dudettes. All right, Beachhead Recon. Rating level five. Uh, no, rating... Wait, what? I guess we just got a thumbs up rating. We got some kind of blue crown. I don't know what the hell that means. Very cool. Alright, that was fun. Character selection. Uh, alright, so let's go ahead... What do I... Now what do I do? <laughs> oh, select character. Okay, character selected. Prospect summary. Uh, beachhead Recon. Hey, that's just all the same stuff. We got a thumbs up and a and a crown. And I guess that's just a summary thing. Okay, so Force Recon complete. Okay, close that. Um, now don't we go to like the loadout thing? You have been given a default prospector suit. Equip a new suit by dragging and dropping here. Okay. Uh, we got this workshop, so this is where we can buy goodies for going down to the planet. Uh, what is this? Micro meal. AgraZero's finest synthetic food product. Okay. Uh, these are better suits. More physical resistance, more module slots, oxygen slots, water slots. That's the S52. This is the S510. Uh, it costs 100 research and 50 for crafting. It's a, pr a surprisingly high spec unit for, for the price, a complete survival system. It features basic rebreather technology and ultra high density polyeth polyethylene construction, reducing weight and increasing strength. Five physical resistance is pretty good. So I guess... We get this, right? There we go. Okay. So we got an upgraded suit. Look at us on our bad selves. We still have 50 coin left. Um, is this something that we learn? Uh, like a recipe or do we get the actual item itself? It says click to research. Provides the emergency rations modifier for 1,200 seconds when consumed. 10 stamina, health, water, food, oxygen. It looks pretty good. Um, but I don't know if I just get the item itself or it means I can make the item. So I think I'm going to hold off on that. Mass dampener module. What does this do? Oh, it's a movement speed thing. So there's like modules, you know, like mods that we can plug into our suit, I'm guessing. Okay, this is the Gustav S5 environment suit. Plus five physical, plus five physical, one oxygen slot, one food, one water. What's the difference between these two? On Earth, they judge you by your shoes. On Icarus, by your Enviro suit. An upgraded S5-2 suit. An enhanced lightly armored S5 Enviro suit. Yeah, I don't I don't see what the difference is with this. Oh, one oxygen slot. This is one module slot. Oh. Interesting. Okay. 
Well, anyways, let's just hang on to our 50 coin for now, I guess. And um, we now have our uh, S5 Enviro suit. Oh, no, wait. Where? Wait a minute. Where is our suit? Didn't we just buy it? Hold on a second. What the hell happened to the suit we just bought? Click to craft. Oh, we have to craft it here. Okay, right, 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 right. Gotcha. Uh, all right, so let's go to the loadout. And now we want the new suit in here. The S510 Enviro suit. Or X. I don't know if that's supposed to be a 10 or an X. Probably an X. Nice. Okay, so we got an upgraded suit. That's a good thing. And yeah, awesome. All right, you guys. So our next prospect, let's go ahead and check it out. So I guess Outpost play in a sandbox world without timers, build and play freely. My understanding from the Outpost thing is that there isn't any, that there aren't any anim enemies or animals. So, I don't, you know, I mean, that kind of removes a big part of the game. So I'm not sure I'll do anything with that unless they add enemies to it. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and do a new prospect. Okay, so we did Beachhead Recon. Uh, we have Kill List Extermination, which is a two skull. Um, we have Live Wire Terrain Scan, which I've actually done on multiplayer, and we have Argos Exploration. General Access to UDA Approved Region. So this is like a 30-day mission, and I think this lets us just kind of go sandbox for 30 days and level up and stuff like that. Uh, this is a six-day mission here for Live Wire Terrain Scan, uh, which, again, like I said, I've done that on multiplayer. Dry Run Expedition. Blaze a Trail to the Canyons. Agriculture Supply Stockpile. It's 14 days. Strange Harvest Bio Research. Ice Storm Deep Vein Extraction. This, looks, this stuff looks really cool. Headstone Geo Survey. Perform a high-density geotectonic scans. Oh, that's only a five-hour mission. Interesting. Okay, well, um... Why don't we go ahead and do... What's going to happen here? Well, I, maybe I shouldn't say anything for those of you who maybe haven't seen it yet. I know what's going to happen on this mission. Um, I think I think we'll do the live wire scan next, and then we might actually do Argos exploration, and you know spend some time and really level up and build a base and get real familiar with the game before we move on to other stuff. That's kind of what I'm thinking at this point in time. All right, so um, let's go ahead and select live wire. Lagos unit runs Icarus for the UDA, but most of this planet's still a blank on the map. The unit wants new drop zones, which means getting terrain scans. And they'll pay for the privilege. Just set up a radar at three locations and come back alive. You up for it? Ex expect elevated wildlife and weather threats. All other risks. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and claim this prospect. <coughs> Character will not be lost when the prospect ends. Okay. Here we go. Live wire expedition. We've already chosen our new suit. Confirm loadout. And this is going to be a single player. And let's touch down on the planet. And then we're going to have to wrap up this episode because we are, excuse me, at our 30 minute mark. So, yeah. Uh, what we'll do, guys, then in the next episode is we will start the live wire mission uh, right after we touch down. Um, and we'll go from there. We have six days to get this done. And um, do we just hit another level? Just said level five. I don't know. We've got a little heart thing with a halo down on the lower left-hand corner. I don't know what that means. Some kind of buff, I'm assuming. Don't forget the radar. Don't forget the radar. Okay, that's what that says. Okay, let's see what the dude has to say. Icarus ain't always gonna be so empty. The UDA wants exotics, and the Lagos units under pressure to scale operations up. Which means they need terrain data, and a heap of it, fast. So grab the radar from the supply crate. 
The unit wants scans from three locations on your map. You'll be heading into uncharted territory, but that's exactly why we need the data. Think you can handle it? Well, either way, it's too late now. Good luck. Yeah, it kind of doesn't matter, man. We're here now. Okay, so we've got to find a this crate thing over here. And from that, we will get the scanner doohickey that we need. Um, right, I need to get further away from the pod so I can see which way I'm pointing. Oh, we're not pointing in the right direction. That's what. Does that show up on my compass at all? No, but it's basically this direction. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to go grab that thing. And what it's going to do is put it in my G slot, which is all the way on the right-hand side. And then we'll use that, you know, to do the location scans and what we'll probably what I'm probably gonna do with this prospect is get go through it fairly quickly too because then then we'll go do that longer 30 day mission and I'm not saying it's gonna actually take us 30 days to do the whole thing uh, but we'll we'll kind of then slow down a little bit and you know level up build a nice base and really familiarize ourselves with the game before we start doing some of the harder missions uh, so that is the plan, and uh, the crate's right here. So let's grab the thingamadoodle, press E to interact, and grab the scanner. Uh, no, we got to put it down here. There we go. And then um, it should be, yeah, we have it on, on our back now. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.